Hello everybody, how is everybody doing today? I hope this video finds you well. Hope you're having a good day. If you don't mind, click that subscribe, click that like. It helps the algorithm. I hate to say that, but it's true. So I hope everybody's doing well today. We're going to do something a little bit different. Um, something that I'm going to try take this channel in a little different direction here and do something a little different. We're still going to be doing the Disney. We're still going to be doing the cruise line because that's exactly what we do. We're getting ready to get on Disney Fantasy on Saturday and uh, I'm excited about that. Of course, everybody's excited when they get on Disney Cruise. But today, we're going to talk about fragrances because I, I, love, to, I love to smell great. Uh, and uh, I ran out of my favorite fragrance, which is Hugo. And uh, so I decided, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get another fragrance. And Diane used to work at a store. Oh, she still works at Kohl's, but she used to work at a store that uh, she could get good discounts on fragrances. So I had all these fragrances. And I decided, you know, I wanted to get something a little bit different. I didn't want all this, all this high-end stuff because, man, they're expensive. I didn't realize how expensive these, these things have gotten. And, you know, I don't get on Disney Cruise Lines because I spend $300 on perfume uh, and you know nine hundred dollars on skincare. I just I don't do that because I got bigger and better things to do. So I found this company while I was looking called Alternative, and they go by Alt. And this is what their this is what their um, their product looks like. And they their story is. Um, they want to reinvent the the fragrance industry uh, to make it more affordable for consumers. All their fragrances are cruelty free uh, and made using 100% clean ingredients. So that should put to rest um, anything that you may have any you know concerns you may have about any sort of uh, company uh, beauty company that uses. Um, animal cruelty to test the products or anything like that this company does not do that they're a cruelty free company uh and they uh they produce pretty good fragrances guys i was pleasantly surprised um so we're gonna go through them here real quick uh they have a special that you order uh for 99 dollars, and um you get three fragrances and then they give you an option to add uh, uh a mystery fragrance I think it was for an extra nineteen dollars or something, uh, and I did that. Uh, so I spent about a hundred and twenty dollars, and I got um, all four of these fragrances. Now I got three of these, which are thirty millimeters, uh, thirty millimeters, and then one sixty. So we're going to go through these. I was looking for something that was specific to. Um, well, since I'm going on a cruise, I was going to looking for something that was a little bit more uh, tropically. It gave me a tropical feel, a tropical uh, scent. Made me feel like I was going to be in the tropics. So uh, I, I selected a couple of fragrances that I thought might be might be uh, what I'm looking for. And a couple of them were misses, but I did get one hit. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and I did order another one from Amazon because I was looking for something with a with a coconut overtone. Um, and I didn't quite get that with, with what I was looking for with their questionnaire. But, with that said, I am happy with my purchase. Now, the alternative is a company that sells uh, both male and female scents. So, I can't really tell you about the female scents. Um, but I'm sure they're probably pretty good uh, considering these uh, seem to be uh, fairly good. Um, I mean, I sprayed sprayed one on my shirt last night about four. Th well, yesterday afternoon, about four thirty, about six spritz. And I still smell it on my shirt, and it's the next day. So, it, it, they're 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 good, long lasting scents. This one wasn't real strong. I mean, you could have put ten spritz on you, and and, and you would have been fine. And I kind of like that. I don't like to be. You know, walk into a room and like, man, who <laughs> walk in there like, uh, what's that guy's name from uh, Charlie Brown? I mean, all that. You know, I, I don't like that. I want it, want it to be a subtle smell, something I can smell. Maybe people that are closer to me. 
but I don't like people across the room to be able to smell to smell me. All right, so let's get to the Alt A here. This is the Alt A, and on their website, uh, they only have one size, which is a 60 milliliter, uh, two ounces, um, and it's just, they say that this, the top notes of this are ginger, apple, and uh, pergamot. Uh, and the middle actual notes are going to be juniper, berries, sage, and genet. What's that? Genetomy? I can't even read that on there. Uh, and the base notes are going to. I can't even read the base notes. Tonka bean, amberwood. Oh, my monitor is horrible. Uh, but yeah, this is the one right here. Let's take a. Let's take a good. Uh, little atomizers on this thing. I spray good. Let's see. Yeah, this smells really good, guys. This is um, th I think this is their. Now these are these are knockoffs from professional uh, other other brands of scents, uh, but this one I think is their their formula of their own personal brand that smells smells really good guys let me give it one more spritz here yeah this is something you could wear definitely on a summer day this is um this is definitely a good summer mm. it's a good summer scent right here Actually, I sprayed this on my wife yesterday, and she liked it. Uh, she wore it yesterday. Mm. It smells kind of sweet. Not too spicy. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really good summer scent, guys. Alt A. Um, and it says here that they introduced the fragrance A. Uh, it says, Daring and Dynamic Men's Fragrance. Uh, it was meticulously crafted as a homage to the iconic YSLY A embodies the spirit of the modern self-made man combining rugged sophistication with an invig invigorating twist while wow, they wrote that with a tongue twister yeah but it mm, yeah I haven't worn this yet but yeah this this is a this is a good one guys Alt A uh, and they only sell it in the uh in the in the larger size the, these other ones are the little smaller size uh, and it runs um, 29.95 it's great it's a great scent really good all right let's go to the next one here all right well the next scent we're going to talk about here is executive this is number 26 um, and on their knockoffs I guess they they number them this is number 26 it's called executive uh, and this one um, has uh, top notes of pineapple, uh, bergamot, uh, black currant, and apple. And uh, middle notes of peach, birch, uh, and pink berries and jasmine, uh, and base notes of musk, vanilla, ambergris, and oak moss. And that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't know enough about fragrance to tell you. I just, I just know what I like to smell like. And... Uh, we're going to find out what this one smells like. I've sprayed this one. This one's pretty good. Um, again, it, this is the this is the third. This 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 particular one um, comes in uh, 100 millimeter for 59 dollars. You can get the 60 milliliter, which is the, the same size as this. If you look, these are a little bit, and then you get the the 30 millimeter, and this is what you get uh, with the 99 dollar pack. You get three of these. And they run $39, this little one right here. So let's give it a little spritzer here, see what he smells like. And Yeah, this definitely smells a lot more, a little more spicier than the, than, than the A. Still has a, Pleasant top note of uh, of citrus. This smells good. This is some. 
again, this would be something that they call it an executive, so I think it's something you can wear to the office or something. It's not going to be over overwhelm, overbearing. Um, it's going to make you smell fresh and clean. Again, I like it. Executive. Now, granted, when you're going to spray, you're going to spray in your folds behind your legs, maybe under your armpits. I like to spray on my on my clothes, uh, but uh, the professional saying spray on your armpits. Um, I normally don't spray uh, uh, anything on that may have alcohol base, and I think this might have some alcohol in it. Um, yeah, it does. It has alcohol, alcohol in it. That's a <laughs> alcohol de. What is it? Alcohol de not de not. I think is what it says. Uh, is the first ingredient. So yeah, most most clones are have alcohol in them. I mean, almost all of them, um, unless they're oil based. So I normally don't spray it on my skin because uh, I like I like to take care of my skin uh, and uh, use cream all the time. I like to put alcohol on my skin. So I just spray it on my clothing, and it's been working great. This one smells great, guys. Executive number twenty six. If you like a kind of a sweet spicy, this is this smells really good. All right, so let's move on to the next one here. The next one we got uh, is uh, Alt Brick number twenty six, and believe it or not, I'm wearing that one right now. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you know. Let me see. Oh, great asthmizer. I can spray this one all over me. So it's not that strong, and I will tell you right now off the top, this particular scent. Um, reminds me of leather it smells so much like leather because it says its description is inspired by Tuscan leather there's a hint of primal appeal to this seemingly refined scent the subtle animal note that's likely to impress those who smell it and I will tell you if you like leather jackets and you like leather chaps and you like hardcore leather and you like the smell of of saddles and and that type of stuff boy this is the scent for you let me tell you this smells this smells like leather i mean it's it's fantastic let me spray it on this bad boy here this scent is fantastic it smells like leather this is all called alt brick uh, i'm actually wearing this one right now mm. I'm going to spray a little bit on me. Spray a little bit on the paper. That's not the one we need to do. We need to do this one. Okay. Man, it smells just like leather. Alt Brick number 26. Number 24. Alt Brick number 24. Um, it smells good. My man. See, it doesn't on the paper it doesn't smell as leathery as it does on my shirt so there's definitely a difference uh, but the smell it smells so much like leather guys if you like leather this is a great scent to go like out to a club or something or if you're gonna go have dinner or something like that uh, go to a concert or you're gonna go to a rock concert something like that this is a great scent guys I'm telling you this is called brick it's brick number 24 I'll I mean, this is this is great scent. I've never owned a scent that's like this. Um, I usually, I'm the type of guy that I would find a scent I like. Um, I wore Chrome for probably a decade, um, and I've worn Nautica um, Polo in the olden days. Them Polo, used, I remember Polo used to be very strong, um, and I still own Polo Blue. Um, but this one smells great, guys. If you like to smell like leather. All right, let's get on to the last scent. And this is the scent that I bought. This is the scent I'm going to be wearing on the Disney Fantasy when we go there. Ladies and gentlemen, Alt number 52, Caribbean Water. And it smells great. Um, it has uh, top notes of... Uh, White bergamot, lime, and mandarin. Uh, it's got jasmine. It's got musk and tropical woods. I was looking for something that had a little bit more coconut smell, 
but this is more um, well, I don't know how to explain it man it's, but it is a great scent Oh yeah, oh yeah, this smells great. This is a, I, I've already worn this and it smells, I would spray it on my clothes, but I, I'm already wearing the brick. But this smells great. And it, and I use, um, I use cocoa butter for my, for my whole body. Uh, and it's kind of got a coconut scent to it. Not strong, but some very light fragrance. This goes great with it, guys. This is, um, this is number 52. It's called Caribbean Water. Man. That's going to go great. I'm going to feel I'm going to feel like a new man on that ship. I mean, it's going to smell great. So this is the one I'm going to take. Um, I still have a little bit of my Hugo left. I, I do like Hugo. Um, but it's stronger than these. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't like to be... Uh, I think it was his name, what was his name, Pigpen on Charlie Brown. Uh, I think we said that already. Uh, he's coming up with all this. These are great. Man, this one smells good. Caribbean water, number 52. That's what I'm going to go with. So if you see me on a Disney cruise ship and you like the way I smell, let me know. So I'll let Alt know. Yeah, I told them I was going to do a video on a Disney cruise line and, uh, and asked them if they wanted to sponsor it. They didn't want to do it, guys, because... We only got 260 people here. I know we got a lot more views, but we only got 260 people. So, Caribbean water on the Disney Fantasy. We're going to take it with us. We're going to see how it works out. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, hug somebody you love. Click that subscribe. Click that like. It helps the algorithm. And we'll see you next time. And next time it will be on the Disney Fantasy. Peace.